Hey guys, it's Shuana. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my 10 favorite pinky nude neutral liquid lipsticks. So I want to swatch and share with you guys what I have been loving wearing as a neutral pinky mauvey type of a color on my lips um, and yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and get started I'm gonna swatch all these on my lips and on my hand and I'm gonna talk about the color and the formula a little bit first shade I have here is the Ofra liquid lipstick in the shade mocha and this is what I've got on my lips right now it's a really pretty mauve pink color that goes with a lot of eye looks and it suits a lot of different skin tones especially tanned medium to dark skin this is a really beautiful neutral everyday kind of a lipstick color i really really like this and the formula on the ofra ones are amazing they're very comfortable they're not fully transfer proof they are more of a moussey kind of a texture and they're just really 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 nice they don't feel heavy on the lips they wear comfortably and they last for a very long time you might have to reapply if you eat oily food but in saying that i you know that is a fair enough because oily things break liquid lipsticks up so yeah i really 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 like this and i think this is 20 us dollars so it is more of a higher end price but it's totally worth every cent it is amazing and that is the shape there i'm gonna show a close up on the end um, but that is a really pretty color. So that is Mocha by Ofra. So the next shade I have here is the Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Gypsy. Or it's called Calypso now. Because there was some controversy about the name Gypsy and they changed it to Calypso. So I've just got the older one saying Gypsy. But it's called Calypso. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. It is lighter than Ofra's Mocha. Um, it is still a nudie, like, mauvey pink colour, but it's just a bit lighter than the previous one. This looks like a really beautiful deep mauve on lighter skin tones, and on medium to tan skin tones, this is more of a lighter mauve. It's still really nice. It's a very spring colour, I would say. It will look a little better with a darker lip liner. Um, and that's how I wear it, but for this video purpose, I'm just putting it on just to go show you guys what it looks like on its own. But it's very similar to the previous one, except it's a bit lighter. So that is Calypso. And that is Calypso, just the second one down. Again, as I said, I'll show you close up in the end, but see how that looks really uh, similar. Yeah, they're really, really, really similar. This retails for six US dollars on the ColourPop website. I've got to speak about the formula of the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips. I love it. Again, very similar to Ofra's liquid lipstick formula. It's not as moussey, but uh, it's a little bit more liquidy. But the wear time and kind of the feel on the lips is very similar to the Ofra one. It's very very comfortable. It's not like a trans. It's not a transfer proof. It does transfer. It lasts a really long time, and un unless you eat oily food, it will break it down a little. But it's very very comfortable on the lips and doesn't feel heavy or cakey or dry or anything like that. They're amazing. The next shade I have here is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Cans, and this is a beautiful lip color. Uh, this is what it looks like. I've got it on my lips right now. It is a really pretty mauve color. Very similar to the first two except this one falls a bit more peachy. It has like a slight tinge of peach. It's very, very subtle. Um, but it's still very beautiful. I love it. The formula on this is a soft mousse that goes on. So it's called a soft matte. It dries matte. It doesn't last as long as the first two, but it's very comfortable. Again, this is not a transfer proof one. It does transfer and yeah, for a drugstore liquid lipstick, it lasts really well. Smells amazing and they have a bunch of shades which are pretty. 
but I love cans. So this is what it looks like. So that the third shade there, that is cans. Cans, cans, cans? I think it's cans. And the soft matte lip creams in Australia is $12.95. I think in America it's $6.99. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'll find out and I'll put the prizes down in the description box or on the screen here. Next thing I have here is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss in the shade 316 Statement Nude and mine's still drying on my lips but this is a really pretty brownier mauvey pink so it's more it's got a hint of brown to it so it's a bit more brownish compared to the first three that I showed you but this is beautiful especially if you have medium to tan skin tone I highly recommend this you can wear it anytime any day with any makeup look and it's gonna look good this is fantastic this is very comfortable on the lips so it's it's got pro matte gloss because it is it's 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 like a lip gloss but it's matte which means it's a liquid lipstick but it doesn't dry down fully like it doesn't it transfers still and it but it's very comfortable it's very moussey and thick so this goes on really opaque really thick it's not liquidy at all um, it is really really nice I need to get more shades in this but this is beautiful uh, it's like a milk chocolate you know it's it's really nice I love this color um, and it is drugstore I think it's about $12 don't quote me again I'll leave all the prices and stuff on the screen or down in the description box this is really really nice and I highly recommend it and that is the shade there on my arm as you can see compared to the others it's more brownie the next shade I have here is the Balm Meat Matte Hughes uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Charming and this is a neutral mauvey pink color Unlike the other ones that I showed you, this dries down really quickly. It is a full dried down matte liquid lipstick. It doesn't transfer as much as any of the other ones that I showed you so far. And yeah, but it doesn't feel drying on the lips. It's still comfortable, but it fully dries down matte. Um, and one big thing I like about this liquid lipstick is that it smells like mint chocolate it smells like like aero uh you know chocolate it's got like mint feeling oh my god it's very minty i can feel it cooling on my lips it smells amazing i just want to eat it it's amazing i love it and this retails for 19.95 in australia at david jones and i think it's available at target as well so still like a high-end price but it's not too expensive um, but yeah, this is what the color looks like. It is really, really nice. I highly recommend it. It's very similar to the first two shades that I showed you, except this one's a little bit deeper. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. So that is charming there. The next shade I have here is the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita, which is a cult favorite. I've got that on my lips right now. It is more brownie than the other ones that I showed you. Very similar color to the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. But um, yeah, I love this. It suits everybody in this world. I love this on medium to tan skin tones. Um, yeah, so it's like a brownie, pinky, mauve color. I love it. It's very neutral, goes with everything. The formula on this is very liquidy but it dries down completely and it does not transfer it is not drying on the lips and it lasts for a very long time i think this is the most long lasting ones from out of the ones that i've showed you so far it is really really good i highly recommend the kat von d liquid lipsticks they're amazing and this is 30 dollars in australia and 20 in the us so high-end price but it's totally worth it I love the applicator, love the packaging, it is beautiful. So that is Lolita. So that is Lolita there. The next shade I have here is LA Splash Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Fantasy. And this 
goes on like a thick cream but it dries down matte um, it, I can feel it drying on my lips, but it's not too drying. It's still comfortable, but it goes on as a cream. It's very thick uh, But it is what it is like it's not like cream like But it's not drying or it doesn't crack or break or anything like that so This is what the color looks like. It is a pretty mauve color I love this um, and This is the shade on my hand there getting hard to see now but I'll show you a full uh, close up really quickly but yeah it is really 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 nice I love the color the formula is nice um, it doesn't smell the greatest or taste the greatest but it looks like it's bearable um, it doesn't smell when it's on the lips it just smells while you're putting it on um, but yeah I got this off Beauty Bear I don't remember the price but again I'll leave the information on the screen um, but that is the color there I really like it I love the color and the formula as well next shade I have here is the Revlon Ultra HD matte lip color in the shade kisses and this is a beautiful mauve pink color it is more like pinkier than all the other ones that I've showed you this is beautiful the formula in this doesn't fully dry matte it stays a bit moist on the lips but it's very comfortable and you do have to reapply when you eat and stuff but yeah it's essentially a cream lipstick in a tube but it's beautiful it's full of color it's very comfortable it's not drying and i love it and this retails for 23.95 in australia and you can find revlon up on sale a lot of times 40 50 percent off at Priceline or Chemist Warehouse so this is really really affordable and it's a beautiful color and that is the shade there the next shade I have here is Ciate London liquid velvet in the shade pin up and this is a beautiful strawberry mauve pink color this is what it looks like. I have the Dulux size sample that came in the Chloe Marilla Beauty Haul. But I love this color. I love the formula. The formula mm. on this is not very liquidy, but it's not moussey either. So it's kind of in between. It's very easy to apply. It goes on really opaque. It lasts for a very long time and it's very, very, very comfortable. I love this formula and I'm going to buy all the other shades because this is amazing. So that is the color on my lips and it's going to suit every single skin tone. It is beautiful and I highly recommend this shade. It's stunning. So that is pin up there. Probably can't even see because it's like I can't twist my arm. The next shade I have here is Tarte Tartus Lip Paint in the shade TBT. And I love this formula. It is very moussey and creamy. It just goes on. It doesn't fully dry matte and transfer proof. It does dry down but it still transfers and it's moussey and it's very very comfortable just like the balm one this is minty and i love it it smells really nice it's very cooling on the lips it smells like i just want to eat it it is great and the color is really pretty it's very similar to the previous one the ciate one but a little bit more like toned down it is a beautiful mauve color and it suits all different makeup looks and all different skin tones I love this and I love the formula it's very very comfortable and I love it so those are all the swatches of all my 10 current obsession uh, of Movi liquid lipsticks so from left to right we've got Tarte Tartus lip paint in TBT then we have Ciate London in pinup then we have Revlon Ultra HD in Kisses. And we have LA Splash Liquid Lipstick in Fantasy. Then we have Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Lolita. Then we have the Balm Liquid Lipstick in Charming. Then we have L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss in Statement Nude. Then we have NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Cans. Then we have Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in Calypso or Gypsy. 
Then the last thing we have is the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Mocha. So yeah, that is it for all my favorite liquid lipsticks that are mauve pinky tones. Uh, I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you like the format of me speaking about every single formula and also swatching them on my lips and on my hand. Um, and yeah, let me know what else you want to see and I would love to do that for you. Uh, let me know what your favorite liquid lipstick that is a mauve pinky tone and if I haven't checked that out, I will be sure to do so. But yeah, anyways, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.